Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about providing leg support to vertical pressure vessel in Flight software. Our flagship courses are Master Static Equipment Design and PVE Light, ASME Section 8 Division 2, and Master Welded Storage Tank as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform for more details on scootoid.thinkific.com. So now the legs you can provide on the both components. I can provide leg on descent also. See, if I select descent and then click the leg option, you'll be getting the leg support like this. Okay. And if I, I'll just say cancel. I'm selecting the shell. Okay, which is just above the addition. I'll select that and then I'll select the leg. Then you see the leg will be like this. So distance from the node, uh, node of the element. So let us, once I uh, input the data, then you'll be able to uh, know more about it. Uh, so let us take that as a 50 mm or let us take 100. Leg center line, I'll not provide right now. I want the leg orientation to be in the strong axis of the support. Okay. The strong moment of inertia. I want to locate like that. Number of legs. I want three. Overall length. And there is an effective length. Okay. So if you see the figure. This is my overall length. And this is my effective leg. Length of the leg. Make sense? So overall length, no, right now I have to give rough values. Okay. So overall length, I can consider 1500 and effective considering some of the amount is going in the support and that is, let us say 100 mm. So I'll provide 1400. Which type of leg you want? You want pipe support or a structural member? What you want? Which type of leg ASC if you want, we can select the different types of shapes. Okay. So MC, WT, these are the angles. Okay. So single angle or if you want to have IS data where you'll be able to relate Indian standard. So you'll have IS standard, ISMB, ISMC angles. So let us take any one of it like IS 70, 70 into 10. Select this section, say OK. okay. Then uh, start angle, you can start with any angle, zero degree, let us consider. Okay. Now, once you have selected the element, I can compute the center line. Okay, because the center line will be based on the dimension of the leg. So I'll say just compute center line. So once I say compute center line, see this calculation was already done. So leg center line is already calculated by the software. Now I want to have the pads also. So I'll select this pad width. I'll be taking 100 and the length I'll be taking 200. Thickness of the pad equal to the shell thickness. So 16 mm. Okay. So I'll say okay. Now you see that leg getting created. See. Now uh, the height is more, width is less. So you can increase the width of the pad. This also to 200. This looks more better. Okay. Now, if you want to change from node, okay, let's go on to keep it 200. Change the 200. Okay. See now? So earlier it was coming at the same. Now you have moved it a little bit away from the same. Making sense, guys? So you have made the leg, but there is no base plate now. Okay, so I'll again go back to the uh, I know, details and I'll select the base plate requirement. So 
perform base plate analysis. So we have some length and width. Let us consider again 200, 200. Thickness of the base plate, you can consider 25 mm, material 516, or you can take IS standard also. Bolting data, take nominal 24. Number per base plate, it has to be in even. Half of that will be in tension and half of that will be in compression. Distance from the edge, so edge of the base plate to the hole of the bolt. So let us consider it's 50 mm. Material of the bolt and the allowable. Okay, this is a con concrete compressive strength. That also you should be available. That what is the concrete concrete strength? Otherwise, default value you can take. So once I say okay, you can see the base plate also getting created. Make sense? Yeah, so that is how you create the leg support. Okay. Now, if the, if the leg is there on the descent, then what are the options? So you can see there is a center line and also there is one more center line, which is where that leg will be located on the dish. Okay. So both the dimensions you have to provide. Okay. So let us provide some data and see if both of them we can create at the same time. So leg center line right now or not calculate. I'll just provide the data first. Strong axis that is okay. Number of legs I want three. Overall length, I'll keep the same 1,500 and 1,400. See, in this case, basically your both the dimensions are same because there is no additional. Okay. I'll take the same data. IS standard, we can select angle. 70, 70, 10, select. Okay. Now we have the this also you can add here it will be diameter so 200 thickness 16. Okay. now i can compute the center line so you can see 1200 that will be the center line of the lug here okay i need to input this center line so that is on the addition so 1100 is my id so let us consider it at 800. i want to keep it away from the knuckle so I've considered 800. So I'll say, okay. See now. For in-depth training and to learn more about these courses, register with the link in the description.